this desk is a little bit broken right in here and a little bit okay a lot bit dated <laughs> but I think we can fix both of those problems so let's go ahead and get started I'm sure you've seen where people have taken desks and vanities and split them into two to make two nightstands and that was actually my very first thought for this desk however as you can see with the top drawer being all one piece this really was not an option at all so from there I went on to making a plan on how to update this desk and you've probably spotted the elephant in the room which is this giant crack in the side of the desk here now being on the inside it won't be as noticeable but it will definitely need fixed before i can sell it we'll talk about how i'm going to do that a little bit later these very interesting handles will have to be traded out for something different i'm not sure whose idea it was to shave off part of the circle sides but it's weird and I won't be keeping them. The majority of the spots where the finish has failed and the raw wood is peeking through is right around the drawers, most likely because this is the areas that are most handled in day-to-day -day life. Now, I'm not going to prime the entire piece because I'm not worried about adhesion, but in this case, I'm worried about bleed through where the finish is gone and it is just the raw wood poking through. For some of the drawer front areas and the top of the desk, I'm going to be sanding them down to stain. I went and started with a pretty rough grit, probably around 100, but it just wasn't cutting it, so I switched to something much stronger. I believe it was actually 60 grit, which is just about as tough as I have to really rip through the first layer of this desk. And then I can come back later with a smoother grit to soften it down. So for my color, I was pretty certain that I wanted kind of a jewel tone teal. And since I didn't have that, I started out with Dixie Belle's Cobalt and I mixed in some Billiard Green from Bear. I know they're two separate brands of paint, but they're both along the same lines. They have a chalk paint and they mix together just fine. I mix together different brands all the time and I've never run into any trouble. But anyways, I started off with the blue, wanting my paint color to lean more towards the blue than the green and slowly added my green until I reached the color I wanted. Well not just the color I wanted, and also until I had enough paint that I was confident I wouldn't run out because that's very important when you're mixing a custom paint color. Now, before you panic and wonder why I haven't taped off the wood portions of these drawers, don't worry, they actually need a little more sanding. I decided to save the final smoothing sand until after I had the drawers completely painted so that while I'll still be careful and try not to get any paint on the wood parts, I know that if I do, it'll just get sanded off in that final sand. Was this the best way to do things? Well, maybe not, but it is the way that I decided to do it, at least this time, because I may have learned a few things along the way. Now let's talk about how I'm going to tackle this split in the wood here. It's not a piece that I can just up and replace and so I'm going to instead repair it. I'm going to start by putting glue in the cracks before I force them back together and clamp them tightly closed. Now before the glue dries, I'm going to be putting in four of these mending plates that have a screw on each side across the break itself just to further enforce and hold them together. Now you get to see why my brilliant plan of sanding after didn't work exactly as well as planned. I booped the paint. And then I had to repaint, so it didn't work as well as I was hoping. Thank you. 
after cleaning off all of that sanding dust, I was ready to start staining my piece. I chose to use Minwax Fruit Wood, which is actually not a stain color that I've ever used before, but I was really struggling at this point with where I wanted to finish and which direction I wanted to go, and a lighter stain gave me the option to go darker if needed, and I figured it would be a good place to start. I had several different ideas of what I wanted to do to dress this desk up, but in the end, after talking with my husband, he fortunately convinced me that less is sometimes more and that a project like this just needs to be kept simple. So I'm glad I followed that advice because I think it really did end up the best in the end. I'm going to seal this piece with clear coat and I'm going to use my paint sprayer to finish this up. I always love spraying my poly top coats on. It just goes a lot quicker and a lot smoother and so whenever possible I reach for that spray gun. Now, while I struggle to put this knob on, if you don't mind, it would mean a lot to me if you would just hit the thumbs up on this video. It goes to show YouTube that you enjoy my content, and then it will share my videos with other people, and I would appreciate that. Thanks. Each one of my videos has a list in the description of all the products that I use, so if you ever need to reference that, it's down there for you. Thanks so much for watching with me today. I look forward to reading all of your comments down below, so make sure that you leave me one and I will respond to it as soon as I see it. Until next time, I'm Sarah with our Furniture Flipping Adventure. Goodbye for now.